are happy to be uh, singing and worshiping about the goodness of God with all three doxology congregations under one roof. There are hundreds of thousands of people in our city who woke up this morning with no hope for this life or the next. And as a whole church family, we've chosen not to be okay with that. Alliance and Doxology Espanol, we're gonna declare that he's worth a sacrifice of a risk. A gospel that's full of power. Un evangelio que ha cambiado tu vida y mi vida. A gospel that has changed your life and my Dios life. Dios nos está llamando. God is calling us. A sacrificar todo. To sacrifice everything. Para plantar su reino. To plant his kingdom. Well, good morning. Buenos días. Buenos días a todos. Good morning to everyone. Good to see you. Glad you're here. If you've got a Bible today, would you grab it? <laughs> would you grab a Bible and meet me in Acts chapter 20 today? Today, as you've already heard, is a really big day in the story of doxology. We celebrate two churches. Celebramos dos iglesias. Becoming three distinct but interdependent congregations. Que se están convirtiendo en tres congregaciones independientes pero relacionadas. All to be sent for the good of Fort Worth. Y todas para ser enviadas para el bien de Fort Worth. To launch us into that, I want us to look at a story in the scriptures. Y antes de ir a eso, quiero que veamos una historia en las escrituras. The story from the early church that has a lot in common with what we're doing today. Es una historia acerca de la iglesia primitiva que tiene mucho que ver con lo que estamos haciendo en este momento. Look at Acts chapter 20 beginning in verse 18. Versículo a church that's been a significant part of Paul's story prepares to launch him out. Una, una iglesia que ha sido muy significante para la vida de Pablo está preparándose para enviar a Pablo. Y tú lo vas a leer con él en la pantalla. When they arrived, Paul said to them, You know how I lived the whole time I was with you. From the first day I came into the province of Asia, I served the Lord with great humility and tears in the midst of severe testing by the plots of my Jewish opponents. You know that I have not hesitated to preach anything that would be helpful to you, but have taught both publicly and from house to house. I've declared to both Jews and Greeks that they must turn to God in repentance and have faith in our Lord Jesus. And now, compelled by the Spirit, I'm going to Jerusalem, not knowing what will happen to me there. I only know that in every city, the Holy Spirit warns me that prison and hardships are facing me. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task that the Lord Jesus has given me, the task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. Skip down to verse 32. Vamos al verso 32. Now I commit you to God and to the word of his grace, which can build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. I've not coveted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You yourselves know that these hands of mine have supplied my own needs and the needs of my companions. In everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak. Remembering the words from the Lord Jesus himself, it is more blessed to give than to receive. When Paul had finished speaking, he knelt down with all of them and prayed. And they all wept as they embraced him and kissed him. What grieved them most was a statement that they would never see his face again. And then he accompanied them to the ship. Really simply, humanly speaking, Realmente simple, humanamente hablando, if this story hadn't happened, there wouldn't be an us. Si usted, usted no hubiera pasado, no habría un nosotros. But because it did, we are. Pero debido a que sucedió, estamos aquí. And in fact, you don't have to listen very hard y, y de hecho, no tienes que ponerle mucha atención a lo que está diciendo. to hear the echo of Acts 20 in what we're doing together today. Para escuchar el eco de Hechos 20 en lo que estamos haciendo en este día. And that's what we're going to see today. Y es lo que vamos a ver en este día. Three big things. Tres grandes cosas. The motivation. La motivación. The message, el mensaje, and the mission, y la misión. The motivation, la motivación, the message, el mensaje, and the mission, y la misión. First, look at the motivation. Look Vamos down. Vamos a ver primeramente la motivación. At Acts chapter 20, verse 22. Versículo 22 de Hechos capítulo 20. Read with me again in uh, verse 22 as we look at Paul's motivation. Vamos a leer el versículo 22 mientras vemos para descubrir la motivación de Pablo. And now, compelled by the Spirit. I am going to Jerusalem, not knowing what will happen to me there. 
Y ahora tengan en cuenta que voy a Jerusalén obligado por el Espíritu sin saber lo que me pasará o lo que ahí me espera. Paul describes himself as compelled by the Spirit to go to Jerusalem. Pablo está escribiéndose a sí mismo como siendo obligado por el Espíritu para ir a Jerusalén. That word compelled, it's the same word to describe someone who is bound in chains. Esta palabra obligado es la misma palabra que se usa para describir a alguien que está, está siendo atado en cadenas. It's also the, the same word used to describe the bond of marriage. Es la misma palabra que se usa para describir la unión en el matrimonio. I'll let you make your own ball and chain. Yo te dejo okay. que hagas tus propias uniones. Paul, he, he, he felt a sense of duty. Pablo sintió el, 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 el sentir de, de esta obligación. He felt a, a sense of responsibility to go to Jerusalem to preach the gospel. Sintió un sentido de responsabilidad de ir a Jerusalén para predicar el evangelio. Even though he wasn't exactly sure what he was going to find Aun there. cuando él no estaba completamente seguro de qué era lo que le estaba esperando ahí. Well, it's not exactly true. Bueno, pero la verdad es que no es tan Verdadero esto. He did have some idea of what he would find. Él tenía una idea de lo que iba a encontrar. Uh, verse 23. En el versículo 23. It says, I only know that in every city the Holy Spirit warns me that prison and hardships are facing. Dice, lo único que sé es que el Espíritu Santo en cada ciudad que voy me advierte de prisiones y de situaciones duras. You see, Paul, he wasn't going to Jerusalem completely in the dark. Así que Pablo no iba, no estaba yendo a Jerusalén completamente en, 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 en lo oscuro. Eh? He did know one thing for certain. Él sabía algo, ciertamente. Leaving where he was to go to Jerusalem. Tenía que dejar el lugar donde estaba para ir a Jerusalén. Was going to be really, really hard. Lo cual iba a ser verdadera, verdaderamente duro. But that didn't stop him. Pero no lo detuvo. It didn't even slow him down. Ni siquiera lo hizo que fuera más despacio. Why? ¿Por qué? Because Paul, he wanted to be faithful more than he wanted to be comfortable. Porque Pablo quería ser más leal que estar Cómodo. It kind of reminds me of the famous Ernest Shackleton ad. Y me, me recuerda a Ernest Shackleton. In 1914, Ernest Shackleton was trying to lead an expedition uh, from Europe to Antarctica. Ernest Shackleton estaba tratando de, de guiar una expedición de, la, de, la, de África a la Antártica. His goal was to lead the first group of people to cross Antarctica using only dog sleds. Su, su, su meta era ayudar a este equipo de personas a cruzar la Antártica solamente con perros y, te, y trineos. Now, legend has it, in order to recruit people to join his team, y la leyenda dice que él, lo que tuvo que hacer para hacer que la gente se uniera a su equipo, he placed this ad in an English newspaper. Puso un, un, un anuncio en un periódico inglés. Men wanted for hazardous journey. Y decía, hombres se piden, se buscan hombres para un viaje con muchos peligros. Low wages, muy poca paga. Bitter cold, mucho frío. Long hours of complete darkness. Muchas horas de trabajo y mucha oscuridad. Safe return, doubtful. Que regresemos con vida, se duda. Honor and recognition in event of success. Tendremos honor y reconocimiento si es que tenemos éxito. Who would sign up for something like that? ¿Quién se iba a meter a eso? Legend has it. Y la leyenda dice. He had 5,000 men respond to his Hubo 5,000 personas, que, hombres que le respondieron a ese llamado. Now we didn't ask for prison or death when we asked people to join our Alliance congregation. Ahora cuando les pedimos a ustedes que vinieran a la congregación de Alliance, no les dijimos que se iban a ir a la cárcel ni que se les iba a ir mal. Although I do believe there will be several hours of bitter cold when Así, we set up. Aunque yo winter. sé que va a haber muchas horas de frío horrible cuando estemos haciendo el setup para la iglesia. We didn't ask for prison or death. No les pedimos que se murieran o que fueran a prisión. But we did ask people to do something that they know is going to be really, really Hard. Pero si sí le pedimos a la gente que hiciera algo que iba a ser verdaderamente fuerte, duro. We've asked people to give up some level of comfort to be faithful to Jesus. Le pedimos a la gente que fuera que estuviera dispuesta a dar un poco de su comodidad para seguir a Jesús. And we've had 37 adults answer that call. Y tuvimos 37 adultos que respondieron a ese llamado. 37 adults who said they're willing to leave some relationships. 37, 37 personas que dijeron estoy dispuesto a renunciar a algunas relaciones. 37 men and women who said I'm willing to leave the comfort of what I've known. 37 personas que dijeron estoy dispuesto a de, o dispuesto a dejar la comodidad que conozco. 37 men and women who said I'm willing to go help plant this congregation even though I don't know exactly what is waiting. 37 personas que dijeron estoy dispuesto a ir a plantar esta congregación aun cuando no sepa qué es lo que me espera. 37 men and women who said you know what? 37 hombres y mujeres que dijeron ¿saben qué? I want to be faithful more than I want to be comfortable. Quiero ser más leal que lo que quiero estar cómodo. 
And that's the motivation for what we're doing here. Y esa es la motivación de lo que tú y yo estamos haciendo aquí. That's the kind of life that God uses. Ese es el tipo de vida, los tipos de vida que Dios usa. That's who Jesus calls us to be as followers. Eso es lo que Jesús nos llama a hacer como sus seguidores. El versículo 24, verse 24, nos habla de algo muy importante. Talks to us, tells us of something very important. Nos habla del mensaje. It speaks to us of the message. Nos habla, y en pocas palabras, el versículo 24 lo voy a parafrasear. Verse 24, I'm going to paraphrase it. Pero lo que dice Pablo en pocas palabras. But what Paul says in, in small words. Él dice, no voy a escatimar lo que tengo o lo que hago. He says, I'm not going to raise up what I have or what I do. No, no, no voy a negar nada de eso. I'm not going to deny any of that. No voy a poner either. condiciones. I'm not going to, to place any conditions. Voy a hacer todo lo que tenga que hacer para ir y predicar el evangelio. I'm going to do everything that I have to do to go preach the gospel. Voy a hacer eso. I'm going to do it. Y eso es lo que tú y yo estamos haciendo el día de hoy. That's what you and I are doing today. Estamos decidiendo ser generosos. We are deciding to be generous. Estamos decidiendo ir y obedecer a Dios. We're deciding to go out and obey God. Estamos decidiendo salir de nuestra de nuestra posición de comodidad. We're deciding to 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 leave our place of of commodity. Para ir y predicar el evangelio de la gracia de Dios. To go and preach the gospel of the grace of God. Dios nos está llamando a hacer estas cosas. God is calling us to do all Dios nos está llamando a ti y a mí a ser testigos del Evangelio. God is calling you and I to Un Evangelio que cambia. A gospel that Un Evangelio que transforma. A, a, a gospel that transforms. Un Evangelio lleno de poder. A gospel that's full of power. Un Evangelio que ha cambiado tu vida y mi vida. A gospel that has changed your life and my life. Dios nos está llamando. God is calling us. A sacrificar todo. To sacrifice everything. Para plantar su reino. To plant his kingdom. ¿Cuántos le pueden dar un aplauso a Jesús por eso? You want to give a hand to Jesus for that. Jesús, Jesus. Hoy vamos a tener la comunión. Today we're going to have communion. Y, y todos recibieron un, un, los elementos cuando iban entrando. And, and we all received the, the set, the elements when we were entering the room. Y, y me encanta que tengamos comunión hoy. And I, and I love that we're going to have communion today. Porque la comunión es una imagen perfecta de algo increíble. Because communion is a perfect image of something incredible. Todos nosotros, all of us, cuando queremos capturar un momento que amamos, when we want to capture a moment that we love, tomamos una foto. We take a picture, right? Sí. Yes. Levanta tu mano si tú lo haces. Raise your hand if you do that. Yo sé que yo sé que no son hispanos, pero pretendan ser hispanos hoy. I know y'all are not Hispanic, but pretend to be Hispanic today. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Todos tomamos una foto. We all take pictures. Para capturar el momento. To capture the moment. Y yo quiero tomar una selfie. And I want to take a selfie right now. Para capturar el momento. To capture the moment. Chris, ven Chris, Chris, Chris. Venga, vengan. Come, 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 come. Todos levanten su mano, pónganse de pie. Everybody stand up, raise your hand. Aquí, aquí una, dos, sí. Say cheese. Say cheese. Eso. Eso. Gracias. <laughs> Thank you. La comunión es exactamente eso. Communion is exactly that. Jesús quiso capturar un momento hermoso. Jesus wanted to capture a beautiful moment. Un momento que representa un mensaje. A moment that represents a message. Un momento que representa un mensaje que cambia vidas. A moment that represents a message that changes lives. Y él decide usar dos elementos. And he decides to use two elements. Cosas que, que ellos tenían acceso diariamente. Things that they had access to every day. Pan. Bread. Vino. Wine. Nosotros lo vamos a hacer con jugo de uva. Today we're going to do it with grape Para que juice. todos lo podamos hacer. So that everybody can do it. Pero él escoge dos cosas. But he chose two things. Y estas dos cosas. And these two things. Eran, un, eran una forma de ayudarle a la gente a recordar lo que tenían que hacer. Was going to remind people what they needed to do. Jesús dijo. Jesus said. Yo necesito que hagan esto en memoria de mí. I need you to do this in remembering. Para que recuerden diariamente lo que yo hice por ustedes. So that you remember every day what I did for you. Ahora es, es, es fácil olvidarte de lo que Cristo ha hecho en tu vida y en mi vida. Now it's easy to forget what Christ has done in your life and in my Hay life. Hay problemas. There are problems. Hay situaciones. There are circumstances. Hay pleitos. There, there are problems. Hay heridas. There are wounds. Y tendemos a olvidarlo. And we tend to forget. Pero Jesús dice, yo no quiero que olvides lo que yo hice por ti. But Jesus said, I do not want you to forget what I did for you. Porque quiero que entiendas que lo que yo hice por ti nadie lo puede arrebatar. Because I need you to understand that what I did for you no one can take away Nadie from te you. lo puede robar. No one can steal it from you. Porque yo consumé la obra. Because I finished the work. 
Y Jesús dice, and Jesus said, Toma este pan. take this bread. Dice que la palabra de Dios en Lucas en el capítulo en el capítulo 22 versículo 19. The word of God in Luke 22 verse 19 says, Dice que la noche anterior de que Jesús fuera crucificado, the, the night before Jesus was crucified, Dice que él tuvo una cena con sus discípulos. Says that he had a supper with his disciples. Y tuvieron su comunión. And they had their communion. Si tú tienes los elementos, saca el pan. If you have the, the elements here, take out the Ahora, pan. quiero pedirte algo. Now I want to ask him something. Si esta historia y este mensaje if this story and this message es real en tu vida, is real in your life, te invito a que te unas a nosotros. I invite you to, to come together with us. Si este mensaje todavía no es real en tu vida, no has tomado la decisión de darle tu vida a Cristo. If this message is not real in your life, you haven't taken the decision to, to give your life to Christ. Ese es un momento para hacerlo. This is the moment for you to Pero do si it. no lo has hecho y no lo quieres hacer, but if you haven't done it and you don't Want to do no te sientes obligado a hacerlo. Don't feel uh, obligated to do this. Dice la, la palabra de Dios que Jesús tomó el pan. The word of God says that Jesus took the bread. Y lo partió. And he broke it. Y cuando lo partió, and when he broke it, le dice a sus discípulos, he tells his disciples, este es mi cuerpo. This is my body. Que es entregado por ustedes. That is broken for you. Jesús no estaba llamando a Pablo a hacer algo que él no había hecho. Jesus wasn't calling Paul to do something that he hadn't done. Pablo no te está llamando a ti y a mí a hacer algo que él no ha hecho. Paul isn't calling you or, or, or me to do something that he didn't do. Él nos está llamando a hacer aquello que debemos hacer como seguidores de Cristo. He's calling us to do something that we must do as followers of Christ. Y al hacer esto, Jesús nos invita. And by doing this, Jesus invites us. A predicar un mensaje con poder. To preach a message with power. No te está invitando. He's not inviting you. A, a que trates de hacer feliz a Dios. To try to make a God happy. No podemos. We can't. Somos pecadores. We're sinners. Te está invitando a descansar en él. He's inviting you to rest in him. A depender en él. To depend on him. Amen. Jesús tomó tu lugar y mi lugar. Jesus took your place and my place. Para que podamos recibir. So that we could receive lo que no nos merecemos. what we did not deserve. Vida. Life. Tú y yo merecemos la muerte. You and I deserve death. Pero Jesús dijo, yo quiero darles vida. But Jesus said, I want to give y tomó them life. el pan y lo partió. And he took the bread and he broke it. Y dijo, este es mi cuerpo. And he said, this is my body. Entregado por ustedes. I broken for you. Y comieron el pan. And they ate the bread. Durante la cena más tarde, during supper later on, Jesús tomó el vino. Jesus took the wine. Y dijo, and he said, en el versículo 20 de Lucas 19, in verse 20 of Luke 19, esta copa, this cup, es el nuevo pacto de mi sangre, is a new covenant in my blood, que por nosotros es derramada. That for us, vosotros is, es derramada. That for, that is spilled for you. Ahora la palabra covenant, now the word covenant, es la palabra pacto. Is the word pact. Es la palabra promesa. It's a word promise. Y lo que Jesús nos está diciendo es, And what Jesus is telling us is, quiero mostrarte qué comprometido estoy contigo. I want to show you how committed I am with you. Que la obra que empecé ti la voy a terminar. That the work I began in you I'm going to finish. Que a pesar de que estás eres un pecador, that despite you being a sinner, yo te voy a vestir de vestiduras blancas. I'm going to dress you in white. De lino resplandeciente. With, with brilliant cloth. Para recibirme. So that you may receive. Yo terminaré la obra. I will finish. Y para mostrártelo, and to show you, voy a poner mi sangre en la línea. I'm going to put my blood on the line. Y bebió de la copa. And he drank of the cup. Jesús no quiere. Jesus doesn't want que te esfuerces en ser algo que no puedes ser. He doesn't want you to, to work hard at being something that you cannot be. Quiere que confíes en él. He needs you to trust in him. Para que seas lo que él quiere que tú seas. So that you can be what he wants you to be. Hecho su imagen. Made in his image. A su semejanza. In his likeness. Para reflejar quién es él. To reflect who he is. Y cómo es él. And how he is. En donde quiera que estemos. Wherever we are. Y donde quiera que vayamos. Wherever we go. Que seamos doxology. And we can be doxology. Yeah. 
When it comes to mo moments of multiplication like this, cuando vienen momentos, cuando se trata de momentos de multiplicaciones como esto, whether we're talking about community groups or congregations, mientras hablamos acerca de, de grupos de comunidad o congregaciones, it's easy to talk about it with excitement. Es, es fácil de hablar acerca de esto con emoción. We use the illustration of giving birth. Usamos la ilustración de dar a luz. But I'm not totally sure that's the best metaphor for what's happening here. Pero no creo que esa sea la mejor metáfora para describir lo que está pasando en este momento. It's exciting to have a baby. Es, es muy emocionante tener un bebé. But after the labor of giving birth to a baby, pero después del dolor y los dolores de parto de dar a luz un bebé, you get to take the baby home with you. Te lo tienes que llevar a la casa. I think maybe a better metaphor for what's happening today. Creo que una mejor metáfora para lo que está para describir lo que está pasando el día de hoy. Is the moment that some of you college students' parents faced last week. Es 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 el momento que algunos de ustedes, que estudiantes de colegio, que sus padres experimentaron las últimas dos semanas. Moment that some of us have experienced before. Y mucho y un momento que muchos de nosotros hemos experimentado en el pasado. Sometimes planting community groups and congregations. Muchas veces plantar grupos de comunidad y congregaciones. Feels a bit more like launching your kid to college. Se siente como enviar a tus hijos al colegio, a la universidad. You prepare for years for the launch. Te preparas por años para poder enviarlos. And then afterward you go in your room and ugly cry for a while. Y, y después de que entras al cuarto y lo ves vacío, lloras. This can feel like that. Esto se siente como eso. I listen to Jose Luis preach. Estaba escuchando a Jose Luis predicando. And I think I only understood about half of that. Y dije, bueno, nada más entendí la mitad. But I could go with a steady diet of that for a while. Pe pero creo que puedo ir con eso por un momento. Some of my friends who attend Doxology Español. Algunos de mis amigos que van a Doxology Español. I would love to get to worship with you every single week. Me encantaría adorar con ustedes todos los fines de semana. And then I think about Alliance. Y pienso acerca de Alliance. And I look over and, and see the Holmeyers. Volteo y veo donde se sentaban los Holmeyers. And I think about this service in the next couple of weeks. Y pienso en este servicio en las próximas semanas. Looking out and knowing where they sat. Y, y, y mirando y viendo donde ellos se sentaban. And knowing they won't sit there. Y saber que ya no van a estar ahí. Think about the McGills. Pensar acerca de... Think about the Coxes. The Coxes. The Giovis. The Giovis. All of them. I know where they sat. O, todos ellos. Yo sé dónde se sientan. And they're not coming back there. Y ya no van a regresar. They're going to be off in alliance doing incredible things. Van a estar en alliance y van a estar haciendo cosas increíbles. And I'll rejoice. Y me voy a, me voy a gozar. I'll see pictures and hear stories. Voy a ver fotos y voy a escuchar historias. But it won't be the same. Pero no va a ser lo mismo. I'll miss them. Los voy a extrañar. And I know I'm sending them towards some stuff that I'm going to miss out on. Y sé que los voy a estar mandando en a, a esta situación. That's undoubtedly what the Ephesians were feeling as they launched Paul. Y creo firmemente que era lo que los Efesios estaban sintiendo cuando estaban enviando y despidiendo a Pablo. Do you notice in the passage it says they grieved as they sent him? La, el, el pasaje nos dice que ellos estaban lamentándose mientras los enviaban. Even though they were bought into the motivation. Aun cuando ellos estaban de acuerdo con la motivación. Even though they believed the same message. Aun cuando creían el mismo mensaje. Here's what I love about this story. Es lo que me encanta acerca de esta historia. They recognized that for what it was. Reconocieron esto por lo que era verdaderamente. They named the grief. Ellos llamaron el, el lamento. And then they walked him to the boat anyway. Y aún así al reconocerlo encaminaron a Pablo hacia el bote. Because they believed the mission was worth it. Porque ellos creían que la misión era digna. Think about what God did as a result. Fíjate lo que Dios hizo a, 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 con relación a esto. Aren't we glad that they walked him to the boat? No estamos contentos de que él caminó hacia el bote. Look, there are hundreds of thousands of people in our city. Hay cientos de miles de personas en nuestra en nuestra ciudad who woke up this morning with no hope for this life or the next. Que se levantaron esta mañana sin tener ninguna esperanza para esta vida o la que viene. And as a whole church family, we've chosen not to be okay with that. Y todos como familia hemos decidido que no estamos de acuerdo con eso. Man. We're going to do whatever it takes to reach them. Vamos a hacer lo que sea que tengamos que hacer para alcanzar esas. Even if it means commissioning some of our best to go. Aún si esto significa comisionar a algunos de nuestros mejores para que vayan y lo hagan. Because we believe what Jesus said is true. Porque creemos que lo que Jesús dijo es verdad. It's better to give than to receive. Es mejor dar que recibir. 
So in just a moment we're going to declare that together. Así que en unos momentos vamos a declarar esto juntos. That Jesus is worth it. Que Jesús es digno. Alliance and Doxology Español. We're going to declare that he's worth a sacrifice of a risk. Doxology Español y Alliance vamos a a a a declarar que él es digno de que tengamos que hagamos un sacrificio. He's worth living differently. Que es digno de para que nosotros vivamos de una manera diferente. For some of us living in a different place. Para algunos de nosotros vivir en un lugar diferente. It's worth the discomfort of being stretched in areas of our leadership. Vale la pena vivir en ese en esa inconformidad o de ese falta de comodidad por hacerlo. Leading in ways that we've never led before. Dirigir nuestras vidas de una forma que nunca antes lo hemos hecho. It's worth the effort of loading in and out every single week. Él es digno de que nosotros carguemos y descarguemos los camiones para poner la iglesia cada semana. That is worth a conversation with our neighbors. Que es digno de que tengamos esas conversaciones con nuestros vecinos. It's worth our financial investment. Que es digno de nuestro nuestra inversión financiera. Those of us that are staying at Southwest. Algunos los que nos vamos a quedar aquí en Southwest. We're going to Proclaim that he's worth our investment as well. Vamos a proclamar que él es digno de nuestra inversión de la misma forma. Worth living like we're sent. Vivir y creer que es digno de vivir y enviar a las personas. Worth stepping into some of the spaces that they'll leave. Que vamos a levantarnos y tomar algunas de las posiciones que ellos están dejando. Allowing our leadership to be stretched in new directions. Garantizando que nuestras vidas sean estrechadas. In a few moments, some of us will even declare. Y, y algunos de nosotros vamos aún a declarar that he's worth joining them que es digno unirnos a él because the same spirit who's alive at work in them porque el mismo espíritu que está vivo y trabaja en él is working in us está trabajando en nosotros the same motivation the same message to join him el, el misma, la misma motivación y el mismo mensaje para unirnos a él it's worth it es digno and we're going to sing that he's worth it y vamos a ver que él es digno because we worship don't leave during the song porque nosotros creemos que es digno vivir durante la tormenta. In the middle of the song, there's a, a video. En, en medio, perdón, en medio de, la, de esta canción va a haber un video. When it starts playing, even before the song is over, cuando empieza a, a tocar a antes de que termine la canción, all of you who are a part of Doxology Español, todos ustedes que son parte de Doxology Español, who are joining us in sending this congregation to Alliance, nos van a, se van a unir a nosotros para enviar esta congregación a Alliance, and all of you who are a part of that team that's helping to plant the congregation in Alliance, y todos ustedes que son parte del equipo que van a salir y van a plantar la congregación en Alliance, I want you to start making your way up on the stage, quiero que vengan todos ustedes aquí al stage, go ahead and come right on up onto the stage, que se suban al stage, as that video portion of the song starts to play, mientras esta porción del video empieza we're going to worship together. Vamos a adorar juntos. Then we're going to close our service by praying for each other. Y vamos a cerrar nuestro servicio orando por ustedes. Sending all of us to be doxology. Y enviándolos para que todos seamos doxology. So would you join me as we prepare to continue in worship? Así que me se pueden unir a nosotros para adorar al Señor. Father, we've sung of your goodness. Señor, vemos tu bondad. We've sung of your greatness. Cantamos de tu grandeza. We've sung of a living hope. Cantamos de la esperanza viva. And Lord, even as we consider where you're sending us and how, y, y aún, Señor, cuando pensamos acerca de dónde nos estás enviando y cómo, we declare that you're worth it. Declaramos que tú eres digno. Lord, we declare that there is nothing more worthy of worship than you. Señor, declaramos que no hay nada más digno de alabanza que tú. We don't want to be a people about promoting our brand. Señor, no queremos ser personas que están promoviendo una marca. We want to be a people who proclaim your glory. Queremos ser personas que proclamen tu gloria. Who show the world who you are. Que muestre al mundo quién eres. Tell the world what you're like. Decirle al mundo cómo eres. Wherever you send us from here. En donde quiera que nos envíes de este lugar. So Lord, as we declare that together. Así que mientras declaramos esto juntos, Señor. Would you be glorified as we worship. Por favor, glorificate mientras adoramos. In Jesus name. En el nombre for his de sake. Jesús. Amen. Por tu bien. Amen. Come on, let's stand as we sing and declare that he's a God who is worthy of his name. Rumors of the sun Stories of a Savior Holiness with human hands Treasure for the traitor No ear is heard, no eye is seen The image 
in him. He's given us a mission. He wants us to make disciples of all nations. Everybody in the group has been like so excited about what's to come in the new congregation. There are so many opportunities to share with the people of North Fort Worth. There's a lot of potential uh, just for, for people uh, to, to be reached. Doxoli Espanol uh, came to life because one day he thought, what if we love where we live and what if we plant a Spanish-speaking church? Keep trusting, keep obeying God because God is up to do something really amazing.
better pray. <laughs> Vamos a orar. Uh, if you would do something with me, uh, just as a function of the fact that we're all going together, and you guys are a part of this, you guys go ahead and scoot up so you're in the light and we can see everybody. Um, if you would just, as you're standing right where you're at, if you would just put a hand out, just signifying, man, I would put my shoulder on you if I could, if I was up there, and nothing magical, nothing mystical, just a function of saying, we're going together with the same message, the same motivation on the same mission to show the world and tell the world who Jesus is and what he's like. And we're gonna pray together as we send them and send ourselves. So let's pray. Father in heaven, Señor en el cielo, in some ways my heart is so heavy in this moment. Señor, mi corazón está tan cargado en este momento. Because launching some of these Porque enviar alguno de ellos will leave a gap even in what we've just experienced right now. Deja un vacío en mi corazón aún al experimentar lo que estamos viendo en este momento. And yet our hearts are full. Señor, nuestros corazones están llenos. Because we know the God of the mission. Porque conocemos al Dios de la misión. We see the potential of what you could do all over our city. Señor, sabemos el potencial de lo que podemos hacer en and, toda nuestra ciudad. In our own neighborhoods. En nuestros vecindarios. Through the influence of all three of these congregations. A través de la influencia de estas tres congregaciones. So do it, Lord, we ask. Señor, te pedimos que lo hagas. Lord, I pray that you would empower these people from Doxology Español. Y te pido que empoderes estas personas de Doxology Español. Jose Luis, their pastor. A Jose Luis, su pastor. That they would live intentionally towards the people that you're already drawing to yourself. Señor, que ellos vivan intencionalmente. And they would be willing to give their lives away. Y que estén dispuestos a dar su vida, a sacrificar su vida. So that others can hear good news. Para que otros puedan escuchar las buenas noticias. Lord, that the thousands of people moving into the Alliance area every single day. Que las miles de personas que se están moviendo al el área de Alliance cada día. Would find themselves near more than just people who go to church. Se encuentren con personas en medio de personas de solamente personas que van a la iglesia. That they live near people who believe they were sent there. Que se encuentren con personas que creen que fueron enviados ahí. To show and tell who Jesus is and what he's like. Para mostrarles sí y decirles lo que es cómo es Jesús. Lord, I pray for Brian. Te pido por Brian. Pray for Dallas. Te pido por Dallas. Pray for this whole core team that you would use them. Te pido por todo este equipo que tú los uses. That you would give them strength and endurance que les des fortaleza y resistencia that you would continue to send those to partner with them que les sigas enviando personas para que para que les ayuden lord for us at southwest para nosotros aquí en southwest would you let us live with the same motivation nos permitirías vivir con la misma motivación would you let us carry the same message of the gospel of grace nos permitirías llevar el mismo mensaje del evangelio de gracia would you allow us to live like we're sent even if we stay señor nos ayudarías a vivir de la misma forma, aun cuando nos quedemos. Would you let us live in the place that we're going now? Nos, permi nos permitirías vivir en el lugar donde estamos viviendo en este momento. With the willingness to give our lives away. Con la voluntad de ofrendar y sacrificar nuestras vidas. Wherever you send us. A donde quiera que nos envíes. We want to live as doxology. Queremos vivir como doxology. We ask it in Jesus' name. Te lo pedimos en el nombre de Jesús. Amen. Amen. Man, you're dismissed. Go be doxology. Dios, que les bendiga. God bless you. Hey, thanks for watching. If something you heard resonated with you today, we would love to connect with you. Visit doxology.church slash connect or leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed today's message and you wanna see more, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new videos.